How many times have you experienced a project you wanted to execute, but took way longer to start off than you intended? Well, a certain Francis Ford Coppola experienced it at least once. The visionary, Francis Ford Coppola. Growing up in New York City, Coppola was heavily intrigued by movies like Metropolis and Things to Come. But it was this book that started to inspire his 40 year delay and his desire to make a film about this Roman politician. Who, if you don't know, wanted to take over an entire republic, but effed it up. Are you kidding me? Having already directed The Godfather 1 and 2, an apocalypse now nearing completion, Coppola started to fully grasp his ideas of what would be known as his passion project. Four years later, production began. That means I'm gonna collect 400 pages worth of notes and ideas in the next two months. Until I keep the same mind and look for more ideas in the next 40 years. All of a sudden I decided it will be a Roman epic set in a modern New York City. Or in other words, I'm gonna make the world an offer they can't refuse. It's a metaphor for American capitalism. His inspirations did indeed come from all sorts of places. But nothing really happened until 1989, when there were plans to shoot in Cina Chita. But, you know, daughters and Al Pacino are also important. I respect what he's done. After wrapping up The Godfather 3, Coppola's production company, which he runs with that fantasy writer with two first names, announced numerous projects were in the making, including Coppola's passion project, despite an unfinished script. Oh, you're so beautiful. Would be a shame if you just kept standing there. We're gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Make us first because you have debts to pay off. Two things. One, never use my writing against me. Two, you're right. Plans were postponed and Mr. Nothing Happened proved to be the dominant factor. Until 2001, when Coppola organized a table read with all of these not so famous celebrities. Even concept art was made, which was described as expansive. No, not that kind of expansive, this kind of expansive. Coppola even copied the fantasy man with two first names by using the same camera he used for Star Wars Defense and Menace. Ah, you see point is well seen. But wait, what was the year again? Until 2001. 2001? New York? Yep. All of a sudden, Coppola's passion project was a little inappropriate for the time. Coppola experimented more with cameras and announced that he wanted to self-finance the movie because he thought modern film financing was really dumb. Just to make sure, he reportedly needed $120 million to finance the movie. That happened thanks to... He sold his South European liquid stuff and financed the movie. Yet the production was still put on hold because, you know, it's set in New York. Fair enough. It wasn't until April 3rd, 2019 that Coppola would return to the project, this time with a complete script. So what's next? Oh yeah, make some star actors an offer they can reuse. Um, refuse. Jeez, it's taking too long. He at least hired these beauties. Except it's 2019. What comes after 2019? That's left. Covid. And Covid means that you can work with only one third of your cast in person. So there was a lot of improvising, being in character all the time, and adjusting the script when Coppola liked it. Ultimately, principal photography began on November 7th, 2022, which was peacefully concluded and ahead of schedule. If the crew were to be believed, Coppola casually smoked marijuana, fired most of the visual effects team, left a lot of room for experimenting, came out of his trailer with a new idea that made no sense, led an entire art team to resign, and fired some staff just to replace them with family members. Coppola was even accused of... Why did you hug and kiss young women? I've never seen anything like it. He didn't do anything to make me feel uncomfortable. Francis, about the accusations, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, the girls I hugged and kissed were people who I knew, and whoever accuses me of this is trying to damage film. To be continued. Francis was 43 when he started production. He's now 85. Due to world events, other projects, financing disagreements, and a hunger for ideas and improvement, Megalopolis took 40 years before it hit the cinema. Francis' passion project finally came to fruition. So, I'm gonna make you one final offer you can't refuse. Turn the lights off, please. <laughs>